Drugs use the eating disorders of calculation in blood system. So, last class we have known divided into different、uh, parts. And the last class we have studied、uh, two anticoagulators. They are heparin and warfarin. And we also studied、uh, antithrombolytic drugs such as、uh, antiplatelet agents. For example, lodolase aspirin, clopidogrel, ticlopidine, and so on. This class. Let's continue the class. We will study fibrinolytic agents and then coagulation promoters, and then we will study the drugs used to treatment of anemia. Okay. Fibrinolytic agents. Also used to treat to pre to treat thrombolytic disease, such as streptokinase (SK). A protein is obtained from group C beta hemolytic streptococci. SK can activate activate fibrinolysin and inhibit thrombolytic disease. This SK, we use the SK. Use the SK intravenous using slowly, slowly intravenous infusion, used to treat acute pulmonary embolism, very serious deep vein thrombosis disease, and coronary heart arterial occlusion, and so on. This drug. Have the same idle section or more serious idle section than heparin, than warfarin, than aspirin. Promote bleeding, spontaneous hemorrhage. The incidence of bleeding can be high, so higher than any other drugs. Also, induce fever and allergic reactions are commonly idle sections for SK. Same kind with SK. Another one is UK, urokinase, and these drugs can use to treat very serious acute embolism, thrombolytic disease. And in clinic this year, we use RTPA, RTPA recombinant tissue plasma print printing, RTPA. And、uh, only used to treat a very serious acute pulmonary embolism, acute myocardial infection, but、uh, less than three to six hours we can use these drugs because serious idle section, spontaneous hemorrhage. Coagulation promoters. The drug is vitamin K. Vitamin K can play an important part in the liver synthesis of factor two, seven, nine, ten. I mentioned this for coagulators, and you should remember we have studied one drug. The drug's name is warfarin. Warfarin inhibits vitamin K. Inhibit these four blood coagulators. And vitamin K can in liver promote two, seven, nine, ten this blood for coagulator synthesis, show coagulation, and used in treatment of bleeding disease. Bleeding induced by vitamin K deficiency, such as obstructive jaundice, chronic bleeding patients, and chronic diarrhea. Hemorrhagic disease of newborn, and、uh, vitamin K also used inhibit bleeding induced by these drugs, such as oral anticoagulator warfarin, such as lodolase aspirin, salicylates, such as some antibiotics have the idle section. We can use vitamin K. Inhibit bleeding. Next part in blood system, we will study the drugs used in the treatment of anemia. 
At first, we should know something about anemia. Anemia means the blood cells, red blood cells, lower than normal. All it's be hemoprotein less less than normal. We call this anemia. We divide anemia divided into three broadly categories. For example, most patients, more than seventy percent anemia patients, they are the first kind, iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia, salivary beats. This anemia, especially young children, especially female patients, and most patients they are iron deficiency anemia. We take the blood. And、uh, under the electroscope, we can we can find oh the red blood cell compared to normal compared to normal blood cell red blood cell smaller and lighter red than normal red blood cell. So we can diagnose the patients. They are iron deficiency anemia. Most、uh, anemia is this kind. Iron deficiency anemia. So from name we can know why the patients they are anemia patients because iron deficiency. So how to treat these patients? Very easy. We give iron, ferrous iron to treat iron deficiency anemia. The second kind. Nearly twenty percent anemia patients. They are the second kind. Myeloblastic anemia. Myeloblastic anemia. So we take the blood, and under the electroscope, we can know. Oh, the here is the red blood cell, red blood cell, bigger than normal, bigger than normal. And this this bigger than normal, but、uh, this red blood cell unmature, undevelopment, so no use, no use. And we call this myeloblastic anemia. Myeloblastic anemia, especially some old age, especially some children, and、uh, the reason is folic acid deficiency for myeloblastic anemia. For this reason, later how to treat、uh, myeloblastic anemia? We give folic acid. And、uh, vitamin B12. The third kind, few patients, few patients, there are some special anemia, such as a plastic anemia. A plastic anemia compared to normal blood cell, we know red, white, and all blood cell includes platelet reduced. And this is a plastic anemia. A plastic anemia, the best method should use the bone marrow, bone marrow transfusion. Okay, so let's study the drugs used to treat anemia. The first drug, ferrous. Others used in hypothermic microcytic anemia. Another name is iron deficiency anemia. And、uh, the second kind, others used in normal chronic, normal cytic anemia, myeloblastic anemia, and、uh, the other, the third one, myeloblastic anemia. So okay, the first drug, iron and iron shots. Oral administration ferrous sulfate, oral administration ferric ammonium sulfate. Intramuscular injection or intravenous using iron dextrin. They are iron shots used to treat iron deficiency anemia. Because iron, inorganic iron in the ferrous form, in the ferrous form, is most readily absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. And some that means some gastric、uh, intestinal disease inhibit、uh, ferrous absorption, induce iron deficiency anemia. 
such as just now we mentioned this iron short used to treat iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia resulting from the first one, chronic blood loss. Chronic blood loss, for example, chronic diarrhea patients, and、uh, these patients, they they have they later they will have iron deficiency anemia, and、uh, next example such as hemor. Hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids. Do you know this? S e m o r r h o i d s. Hemor, h e r m o r r o r o i d s. Chronic blood loss induces iron deficiency anemia. And in adequate dietary intake, for example, the patients. Dislike vegetables, dislike、uh, fruits, and induce iron deficiency. Induce iron inadequate dietary intake. So these patients, and iron deficiency anemia also resulting from increased daily requirements. Which kind of patients require more iron than normal? With kind of patient, yes, pregnancy and the female in the lactation period, they increase the daily requirements. So increase the daily requirements if the iron insufficiency induce iron deficiency anemia. And the next one, such as the subtotal gastrotectomy patients. We know iron, ferrous iron, be absorbed in in gastrointestinal. So subtotal gastrotectomy patients couldn't absorb iron and induce iron deficiency anemia. We use ferrous shots to treat. We use ferrous shots to treat iron deficiency anemia. Have some other section. Such as gastrointestinal disturbance, such as abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and bloody diarrhea. So here, doctors, you must tell the patients. You must tell the patients. Anywhere patients, we give ferrous shots, and the patients need need several months, and the red blood cell is be increase. And the patients maybe tell you, "Oh, doctor, I use the drug, and、uh, I'm an anemia patient, but I use the drug, bloody diarrhea." And the、uh, doctors, you should tell your patients, "Don't worry about it. In fact, it isn't bloody diarrhea. It is looks like bloody diarrhea. Why? Because、uh, iron shots, iron shots in in stool." Looks like black, so looks like bloody diarrhea. Okay. The second kind of drugs used to treat anemia: folic acid. The principal sources are leaf vegetables, liver, and fruits. Such as animal liver, such as animal kidney, full of folic acid. The minimum daily requirement of folic acid in normal adult is about fifty milligram. If the patient, if dietary intake of folic acid less than five milligram, and about more than four months, induce lead to myeloblastic anemia. So you should know. The reason of myeloblastic anemia because because in taking folic acid insufficiency because some one dislike animal liver, animal kidney or leaf vegetables. Which kind of patients? Such as children.
such as elderly patients. So we use folic acid to treat a deficiency of folic acid myeloblastic anemia, resulting from the first one increased the demand and the pregnancy or the mother in the lactation period. They need more folic acid. So, if there they are intaking limited and induce myeloblastic anemia, we use folic acid to treat. The second patient, because poor absorption caused by pathology of small intestinal. So some patients, they have small intestinal disease and uh, poor absorption of folic acid induce myeloblastic anemia. We use folic acid to treat myeloblastic anemia. Treatment with drugs that are dehydrofolate reductase and inhibitor. So these drugs are antibiotics such as SMJ, such as sulfonamides and TMP, inhibit folic acid synthesis, so induce myeloblastic anemia, and we use folic acid to treat. And the next one, alcoholism. Some alco heavily alcoholism inhibit folic acid synthesis and induce myeloblastic anemia. We use folic acid to treat. So clinical using, more than 95% myeloblastic anemia are caused by deficiencies of vitamin B12 and folic acid. So clinical using, how to treat myeloblastic anemia? Very easy. Folic acid and co-admitted with vitamin B12. So the third drug, vitamin B12. Some food containing vitamin B12, liver, animal liver, seafood, meat, eggs, and milk. And we use vitamin B12 to treat, uh, to treat uh, myeloblastic anemia and to treat inadequate secretion of intrinsic factor or insufficient dietary supply. Because vitamin B12, which is essential for cell growth, which is essential for maintenance of normal myelin, vitamin B12 deficiency can result in myeloblastic anemia. So that's now we mentioned, myeloblastic anemia we use, we, we use folic acid co treated with vitamin B12. Also used to treat uh, demyelination and cell death. Okay. Clinical using vitamin B12, myeloblastic anemia. Also used to treat uh, pernicious anemia caused by atrophy of the gastric mucosa with failure. So the drugs. The last part in blood system, hematopoietic growth factor includes EPO, erythropoietin, GCSF, granulocyte, colonial stimulating factor, and GMCSF. The full name very long, granulocyte microphase colonial stimulating factor. These drugs, these factors, these factor, growth factors, EPO, CSF, GMCSF, especially EPO, is used in clinic. Used in clinic, so let's study some uh, EPO is produced by kidney. Anoxia and anemia in, in, induce EPO increase. Some renal disease in, injury the bone marrow and iron deficiency. So, 
e p e e e p o increase decrease. 收为柚子 e p o is used for treating anemia evoked by renal deficiency chemical therapy for cancer, and the drugs used for a i d s. Leukocyte promoting agents, just now we mentioned C S F, G M C S F. These drugs increase the number of neutrophil granulocytes. So we use the drug to treat this disease, relieving a rest of bone marrow induced by chemical and radiotherapy, bone marrow transplantation. A plastic anemia and AIDS. GMCSF similar to GCSF, the clinical using. So they are similar. GMCSF is similar to GCSF, a rest of bone marrow induced by chemical and radiotherapy, bone marrow transplantation, a plastic anemia and AIDS. The last cans urgent enlarging blood volume, such as this drug, dextrin, and dextrin micromolecular dextrin, low molecular and middle molecular dextrin. We use these drugs in shock. Shock evoked by low blood volume, also used in DIC, also used in strong boy. Bone-bolic disease such as cerebral embolism, acute myocardial infection, and so on. Okay, today we in this class we finished the blood system and we studied some drugs inhibit coagulation, inhibit promote coagulation, and we also studied how to treat anemia. Okay. Class is over. See you next time.